Um, I'm running to be the voice of the citizens in the 10th district because I want to continue the work I started in the House. What I'm hearing as I travel around the state is that our business owners are struggling with the needless and burdensome regulations that uh, so many of the either federal government or the state has imposed upon them. And so I'm working to create a better business climate because as I talk to the citizens, what they're interested in is jobs, jobs, family supporting jobs. I want what Missourians want. What issue would you say is not getting enough attention in the state legislature? I think that's twofold. Uh, the first one, as I talk to our business owners, there's a segment um, of our population of our workforce that are not meeting their needs with some trained technical education. And so whether it is incorporating some of the high school programs and or with our community college programs to specifically pick up those technical areas that the employers need so that as our students graduate, they don't just go to a job, they go to a career. And we keep them here in Missouri. They don't have to leave the state to look for a job. That's one. The second area I touched on a bit is the regulatory environment that our, our state departments are imposing on our business owners. I would like to see that mission changed to an advisory capacity rather than an adversarial capacity so that as our business owners are trying to do what they do best, employ Missouri citizens and um, produce a product or a service, that they are having help from our State Department to do what they do best, which is make Missouri run and employ our citizens. How should the state approach taxes and tax credits? Oh, I think that's pretty easy. If you talk to any Missourian or anyone in the 10th district, they're going to say they want more of their own hard-earned money in their pockets, whether it's individuals or whether it's business owners. If they get to keep more of their money, they turn around and invest it in the community, which if you invest it in the community, then that produces, if you're a business owner, uh, more adequate family-supporting jobs. Tax credits? You know, if they're working, I think that that's fine. They need to continue to work, like our benevolent tax credits, for one. If they're not working, they need to go. How should the state approach education? That was my career. I spent 28 years in the classroom at South Callaway School. My husband and I both taught there. Um, number one, our schools need to maintain their local control. I believe that... There can be some benchmarks that help our students not only be competitive in Missouri and nationwide, but they have to be competitive worldwide in today's market. So those benchmarks are fine, but how they're implemented and how they're assessed totally belongs to the local school district. Local control. Let me add one more thing to that. Um, as far as our local control, we have to make sure that our schools are funded adequately. So a prosperous educational system creates a prosperous economic system. If elected to the Senate, what would be your top three priorities? I think I've touched on those initially, and obviously it's jobs. It's an economic situation. That's what I've been told as I've traveled around the tent district, is people want family supporting jobs. They want their kids to be able to stay in here. So we're going to work on that. Number two, education was my career. And so we have to make sure that we have a prosperous educational system that produces students. And we're going to focus on that technical aspect that we're missing here in the state. That And so doing that would be adding some funding in, as well as working with our local schools, and as well as working with our businesses to see what specific segment that is. And number three is our infrastructure, whether it's transportation or whether it's the utility infrastructure, people want safe, efficient infrastructure in order for whether it's our agricultural community moving their goods to market um, or whether it is um, our business owners providing their service or their products.